All right, guys, as you know, the laws, rules, and regulations of Dubai Land Department and RERA are very dynamic, and they keep changing and getting updated from time to time. You already know everything about the main laws, rules, and regulations of uh, DLD and RERA, as well as their formation and role in Dubai real estate market, the population growth of the country, prices, trends, laws of rental, rental dispute center, tenants eviction, bounce checks, eviction notices, project registration and escrow account, uh, obligations of the developers, Oud, broker's registration, code of conduct, ethics, do's and don'ts for agents, most used terms and terminologies like freehold, leasehold, plot area, FAR, GFA, site plan, affection plan, BUA, NSA, common areas, uh, conducting CMA, advertising permit, NOC, OTP, SPA. You already know all these things. Different types of uh, land use, RERA forms, forms A, B, I, F, the processes of primary and secondary sales, breakdown of payments in different scenarios and situations, as well as the after sale services and your duties against your clients, agents, and channel partners. Most of you guys are very well experienced and you have been trained on all these rules and regulations and you are actually practicing them in your uh, daily business every day. Today's session is about some new regulations and the points that you need to be completely aware of for you to pass the latest version of RERA exam. Some of these points that uh, we are covering in today's session are not something that you actually face them every day or uh, very often in action. However, as a real estate professional, you need to be updated and you must know them to be able to pass the exam and of course provide the right advices and consultation to the clients. This is just a quick review before I go to those points. Just keep in mind that blue card is for brokers like us, green card is for the developer sales, red card is for timeshare properties and short term rentals, yellow cards are applied by brokerage companies in the free zone, navy card is for national brokers. You don't need to take pictures of the screen, the PDF file is in the training in the shared folder. Just take your notes, don't worry about the screen. Green card is for the registration trustees and brown card is for the evaluators. You already know all these things, right? Again, this is a review. There is nothing new about this. Developers' rights to terminate the contract in case the project has it. What is buyer's default? Buyer's default is not paying. Simple as that. Buyer's default is not paying. So if the project construction is more than 80%, then the developer will have the right to deduct 40% of the original price the unit will go to the public auction and the balance will be returned to the client by Dubai Land Department within one year from the date of termination or 60 days of selling the same unit by the developer. Clear? If the construction progress is between 60 to 80 percent, again the client will lose 40 percent. The only difference is this time the, it doesn't have to go to the public auction. Again the client will lose 40 percent and the funds the balance, if he has paid more than 40%, the balance will be returned to the client within one year from the date of termination or two months from the date of the same unit being sold by the developer to another client. Clear? If the construction progress is less than 60% and the buyer defaults, the client will lose 25% of the original price and the excess will be returned to the client within one year or 60 days of reselling. If there has been no construction without the negligence of the developer, if the client defaulted and the unit is about to be terminated and there has been no construction done on the project and it wasn't the developer's default, 30% of the paid price will be uh, lost and the excess within 60 days to be returned to the client. Rental increase cap, okay, again, this is just a quick review, nothing new so far. Rental increase cap applies to all the properties in Dubai. Dubai, remember, keep in mind, each and every emirate has its own laws and rules. So we are talking about Dubai only, including free zone, all over Dubai. Rental increase cap applies to all properties in Dubai. Rent caps are based on the tenant's previous rent 
versus the average similar rent as per RERA index. Rental increase calculator is available online. The notice must be given to a tenant at least 90 days. So if you give a notice to your tenant, even if your, the increase that you are asking is as per the RERA index, RERA calculator, but it's not 90 days prior to the expiry date, it's not considered as a valid notice. And the notice could be informal, even SMS, email, WhatsApp, uh, or informal letter will also be accepted. You just, the landlord simply has to send one message, simple as that, there will be an increase in the rent of so much percentage as per the RERA index, and this notice is enough. If the tenant was paying 10% or less than, the, this is how the calculator works. If the tenant was paying 10% or less than the average similar rent of the market or the lower 10% lower than the RERA index, the landlord cannot increase the rent, the rent. If the difference between your rent and the RERA index is between 11 to 20%, then the landlord can increase 5%. So to, to memorize it, get the lower amount divided by 2. 11 to 20, 10, 10 divided by 2, 5. 21 to 30, 10. 30 to 40, 15. 40% 40 plus 20. And the maximum is 20. So even if your rent is half the market price, the landlord cannot increase it for more than 20%. Clear? We'll talk about the rental valuation as well. If the landlord feels that the rental in index uh, is not fair, the landlord can apply for a valuation on the value of his or her property value, rent, rent value. Examples of calculating the increase. So this is just an example. How to calculate how many percent you are lower. See, my average rent is 80,000. The tenant is paying 60,000. The, the existing uh, tenancy contract is at 60,000. So to calculate the difference, you should take the difference and divide it by the index. Because the law is saying that how many percent, your rent is how many percent less than the index. So you should take the difference and divide it by the index, the index right? 80 minus, the difference between 80 to 60 is 20,000. 20,000 divided by 80,000, 25%. Means the rent can increase for 10. Yes. How can you kick out a tenant? If, there, if the tenant doesn't pay the rent, non-payment of rent with a 30 days notice, the, if a tenant's check is bounced, it's always recommended to go back to the tenant, see what has been the issue, deposit the check again. If it gets bounced again, then only it's recommended to file a case. Non-payment of rent gets a 30 days notice. Breach of lease terms, the tenant gets a 30 days notice. Illegal or immoral use of premises. You are renting a residential property and you are converting it into a shop. Alterations made by the tenant to the property that endangers its safety. If the property uh, are dangerous and likely to collapse, if the property is old, if it has some structural issues, if, if, if the Tenant are, uh, the tenants are in a dangerous situation. In this case, you need a technical report from Dubai municipality. Commercial properties, if the tenant does not occupy, if I rent a shop from you and I do not open the shop for 30 continuous days or 90 non-continuous days during the year, you can kick me out. I'm renting a shop from you. I'm renting a shop from you. I'm paying my rent sometime. I said, you know what? I've paid the rent of the whole year up front. But I'm not opening the shop for 30 continuous days or for 90, continu for 90 non continuous days within one year. Why should you be able to kick me out? Because keeping a commercial property closed will depreciate its value. A commercial property should always be open and active. So since it affects on the value of the property, a commercial tenant should not be, uh, uh, cannot just leave the property vacant. The landlord must give 12 month notice. Okay, so if you want to, you want the tenant to leave because the landlord wants to sell the property or the landlord wishes to use the property in both of these cases or direct relatives for his own personal use or direct relatives, then the landlord has to give a 12-month notice through the 
no to the public to the tenant. The property requires, okay, the process of this for your information is that the landlord will go with the documents to the notary public, the notice will be generated and made at the notary public, they will give you the notice, you should deliver the notice to Aramex of al Barsha because that is the only office of Aramex that delivers the official documents. Over there you pay 105 dirhams for the delivery of the notice. Uh, if the property requires demolition or major renovation, uh, with a technical report, you should send a notice. If there are no legal reasons for eviction, the tenant will have the automatic right of the renewal. If you give a notice, guys, that's a very valid point. If I have given, this is what the tenants do not know. I am an owner, I've given a notice to the tenant. Okay, why am I giving a notice? Because I want to sell the property. Tomorrow I sell the property. The minute I sell the property and the ownership changes, that notice becomes invalid. The new owner should give again a new notice after the new title date comes and again wait another 12 months. Even if in the tenancy contract you mention that this contract is only for one year, even if you mention that this contract is not renewable, even if the tenant gives you a a uh, letter of vacation, even if 10,000 people witness and confirm that this tenant will leave on so-and-so date, still the tenant has the automatic right to renew the contract if none of those conditions apply. From now on, I'm telling you new points. These points which I'm telling you here are new. To register, what is the registration of a tenancy contract called? Ijari. To register a tenancy contract which has an expiry date of 10 years, exactly 10 years or less, you will register it at the property trustee office through Ijari service. From now on, whatever you see, just memorize it. Property trustee office is where you are getting Ijari. In the market, what we say is that go to Ijari and get your Ijari. Okay? But in the law, the thing, in the law, in the exam is that that place is called Property trustee service, not registration trustee. Registration trustee is for the transfer or when your property tenancy contract is more than 10 years. If your tenancy contract is 10 years or less, you go to property trustee office and you will get EJRE service. Kabul? There are some property pro trustees which are doing property trustee and registration trustee. That is property trustee and the registration. If the tenancy contract register, if your tenancy contract is, has a validity of more than 10 years, not even 10 years, more than 10 years, then you should register your tenancy at registration trustee office and pay 4% of the total value of 10 years to register your tenancy. 4% of 20 years, four per, your total contract value. Total contract value, 4% of your total contract value you, you pay to register your tenancy. If such, in such a tenancy, which is more than 10 years, if a check is bounced, the landlord shouldn't go to RDC. The landlord should go to? Dubai police. Rent check is bounced when the contract is 10 years or less, you should go to rental dispute center, which is the normal case. If validity of, if your contract is the second one, more than 10 years, you should go to Shorta. One tenancy contract can have one tenant only, remember. One tenant, you cannot have two tenants. Two tenants cannot share one property. One tenancy contract, one tenant. Who is the tenant? Puria. Who are the occupants? Puria's family. But the tenant is one. Okay. In the first leasing, do you have a limit? Is the law limiting you? Is the law giving you a cap or an upper limit, Saber, for your first leasing contract, tenancy contract? Do you have a limit? Limit for? You have a two-bedroom in 29 Boulevard. Market rent is 180, let's say. Uh, is there anyone stopping you from renting it for 400,000? No. no one. So in your first leasing, there is no upper limit in the amount of your rent.
upon renewal, that is where you have the limit. Upon renewal, if the rental increase is unfair, if you're saying that, come on, my property is upgraded or I have a bigger plot area or my unit is a corner unit, the rental index is showing a normal view, mine is having a best view, lake view, golf view, whatever, and I believe the rental, well, what, what rental index is calculating is, is unfair, I will have to go to? Apply for rental valuation. Apply. So the exact term is rental valuation on EGRE system. Guys, memorize these terms exactly. A tenant has moved out. As an agent, I want to advertise the property to get a new tenant. Or, let's say, a tenant, a tenant is about to move out in one month from now. Okay, and my property will be vacant after one month. When can I start advertising? Once he's vacated. Once he's vacated. So you have to wait, make sure that he is vacated, the property is in good condition uh, for, for, for handover to the new tenant. Then only you can start advertising. Kabul? Guys, how do you profile a tenant? Profiling a tenant means. So you're. So, see, guys. In practice, you have been in, 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 in a situation many times where the, the landlord is saying, who is this tenant? Tell me about the tenant. Okay. So as per the regulations of RERA, you should profile. What are your limits to profile the tenant? Go back to the landlord that say, this gentleman is so and so of age. They have so many kids. There are so many number of people living there. This is. So profiling a tenant includes checking his profession, what is his job? What is his designation? Who is the employer? Who does he or she work for? And what is the household income? So the question in the exam is, is, is checking a household income of a tenant a part of profiling a tenant? The answer is yes. Upon renewal, the landlord is not reachable. I cannot reach the landlord. What is the service called? We all know that we have to, renew. we can renew it with the authorities. What is it called? Of online offer and deposit. Online offer and deposit. Upon renewal, the landlord is not reachable. Okay, there has been no notices. I want to renew the tenancy and uh, the landlord is not reachable and the tenant needs new tenancy contract, updated EJRI, whatever. So. You'll pay, to the, uh, you'll pay to RDC, uh, when the landlord comes back, he will go to RDC and get his money. Upon renewal, landlord is not reachable. You go, the service you use is called online offer and deposit. In case of sublease, is it the subtenant's default or problem? Yes. No. The poor guy has rented the property and he is he's paying his rent. So who is to be blamed? The first tenant who has subleased the property. So the subtenant can stay. Subtenant. I rent a property to you. I rent an apartment to you. Strictly, even if it's not mentioned in the contract, subleasing is not allowed without the permission of the landlord, even if it's not mentioned in the contract. I have rented the property to you. You have rented a two-bed from me for 100,000 dirham. Tomorrow, you will, I am landlord. She is tenant. And she goes out there and rents it to someone else at a higher price or lower price or whatever. Only you are the one to be blamed. So when I get to know, when, we, when the law gets to know, we cannot kick out the subtenant. We can file a case against you. There are different forms of percentage lease contracts. One of them, which is uh, more common in the exams, is called percentage lease. Percentage lease is most of the shopping malls are using. Means if you want to rent, an, rent a shop from Imar malls in Dubai mall, for example, they will tell you that your rent is this much, 500 per square foot, or 11% of your gross sales per year, whichever is higher. This is one form. The other form is this much, this much per square foot, let's say 500 per square foot, plus 5% of your gross sales excess on top of 500,000 dirham per year. Like many places. This is also, these both forms of contracting is called percentage leasing. Percentage leasing is for shopping malls. So what kind of question do you get in the exam? The question you get in the exam is this. 
Now I want you to calculate this for me. A property with a size of 1,000 square meter. meter. Square meter. 1,000 square meter. Was rented for 300 dirhams per square. The property size, the shop size, a shop with a size of 1,000 square meters was rented for 300 dirham per square foot per year plus 4.5% plus 4.5% of the gross sales of electronics shops. I have this mobile shop that, had, that has made a sales of 2 million dirham in one year. So what will be the quarterly rent of this shop? Exact, same is in the exam. Exact question is in the exam. All right, raise your hand if you have 3.3 million. What? Raise your hand if you have 3.3 million. Raise your hand. 3.229. Who has 3.229? Failed. Get out. Raise your hand if you have 412,000. Raise your hand if you have 412,000. Raise your hand if you have 825,000. That's the correct answer. First, let's check the base rent. The base rent is, I have 1,000 square meter, 1,000 square meter. To convert it to, one, to square feet, what is the ratio? The exact ratio that is calculated for issuance of the title deeds and everything else is 10.76391. 10.76391, not one decimal more, not one less. This is the exact ratio which is used for the title deed and everything else. In the exam, 10.76. In the exam, two decimals, 10.76. OK, now let's say I want to calculate it properly. 1,000 multiplied by 10.76391 means the size of my shop is 10,763.91 square feet. Kabul? 300 dirhams per square foot per year the tenant has to pay, which makes 3,229,000. Kabul? Okay, that is my base rent per year. On top of that, according to the Percentage lease contract that I have with the shopping mall, I have to pay 4.5% of my gross sales excess on top of 400,000 dirhams. This year, I have sold 2 million dirhams. So I have to pay 4.5% of 1.6 million. 4.5% of 1.6 million is? 72,000. So I have to pay, during the year, I have to pay 3.229 million plus 72,000, which makes 3.3 million for a year. But the question is asking me quarter. 3.3 divided by 4, 825,000. The maximum leasehold period is? Guys, in the leasehold ownership, the owner owns the structure. Does he own the land? No. no, you own the structure, you don't own the land, and the maximum leasehold ownership is? 99 years. What is the minimum? Six. One year. The maximum leasehold period is? 99 years. We have leasehold in Hosseis even, even for one year. First degree relatives? Who are the first degree relatives? Brother? Brother? Cousin? Partner? Yeah. Girlfriend? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Father, mother, wife, and children. Okay, to, to have a real estate management license, your license must be LLC, and it must be owned by local Emirati. Why does it say must be owned by local Emirati? Can you own a real estate company owned by non-Emirati? Yes. 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 Yes, like our office. 
So it must be LLC, it must be owned by local Emirati or GCC National. Can a sole establishment company owned by an Emirati get a real estate management license? No. no. no, no. Because it sole establishment, sole establishment company owned by Emirati cannot get real estate management. For the non-Emirati, sole establishment can it must be LLC and it must be owned by GCC National. Uh, the standard measurement system is square meter. Uh, for the miners which are less than 18 years of old, who will represent them? Father or mother or guardian? Father or mother or wife? You are absolutely right, but for the exam you are wrong. Representative. The right word for the exam is representative. Remember, not the father, not the guardian, not the mother. Representative is the right word. Agent goes from company A to company B. I have some listings in this office. I move to another company. The CAs are still valid. What happens to those CAs? Do they come with me? No. No? no? Yes. Okay. That agent is not in that company anymore. The listing state, agent moved. So who is the agent? The company is the agent. The company has to assign the company with us. And how will the landlord, how will the owner come to know? How will the client come to know? They will get a notification on the virus from Tarakhisi. So if agent A goes from company A to company B, the listings remain. The CAs remain. The CF remains. All those contracts are assets and properties of the office. That connection with the client is an asset of the office. So all those will stay, will remain, and the company can assign a new agent on the same listings, on the same contracts, and the clients involved in those listings and deals will get notification from Tarakhisi. What is Takharuj? Takharuj is when uh, one of the heirs sells his or her, his or her share to the other heirs of the same property. Takharuj is transferring the share of real property belonging to an heir to the others, to the other heirs of the same property. For Takharuj means come out, exit. I want to exit from my share of the same properties of our uh, father, for example. Oh. What is the cost of takharuj you have to pay to register it in DLD? Do you have to pay 4% of the property value? No. You will pay 1% of? Share. Share value. No, of the value of the property value. Property value. 1% of property value. Only to the other heirs. Musataha. What is musataha? Musataha is when you own the land, I will develop on it. It's a form of joint venture, actually. You own the land, I want to develop on it. So we have an agreement. This agreement as per Sharia is called Musataha. The cost of registering Musataha. Zamino to the Imam Khumbasazam. You know Musharakat. Nah, nah. There are different forms of joint venture. One of them is Musataha. There are many different forms of joint venture. There are different forms. The other form of joint venture is, he was saying that the other form of joint venture is, I buy half of the land, and then together we pay the costs 50-50. That is not called Musataha. Musataha is when you own the land, and I use and develop uh, someone else will come and use. OK, so what is the cost of registering Musataha? 1% of? Musataha. Musataha value, contract value. Use a frack right is 2% per, is two of the? Property value is the cost for? The, the cost of registering the user fruct right is 2% of the property value, which is the right to use and benefit from, the, from uh, a property while the property is owned by someone else and someone else is using its facilities, using the property. That is called user fruct. Mortgage registration fee, 0.25% of loan value, not the property value. Gifting, 1.25. Point one two five of the 
property value minimum 2000 so if 0. Point, if 0.125% of the property value is 1900 dirhams then you have to pay 2000 10 dirham per square meter remember always guys be careful about the measurements in the questions Sometimes you have to try convert square meter to square feet and the vice versa before doing the calculations. Transfer fee for the warehouses is 10 dirham per square meter on the land area. No matter how many square feet your built up area is. 10 dirham per square meter on the land area, minimum of 10,000 dirham. Okay, I have 800 square meter land, 600, write this question. 800 square meter is the land area. One minute. 800 square meter is the land area. 6,000 square feet is my built up area. 6,000 square feet is my built up area. Value of my warehouse is 5 million dirhams. What is the transfer fee? 10,000. 10, Kabul? Easement, memorize. Easement is the right of using facilities for another property. Guys, exam fees per agent, 772. Exam fee for two agents? Two agents. Because this is the exact question that comes in the exam. 1,540 something. Okay? This is the exact question in the exam. What is the exam fee for two agents? Now, site map for units, 250. Site map for land, 100. Title deed fees, 250. Fine in case of brokerage activity without having RIRA, 50,000. Fine if I collect money from a client and do not deposit it to the escrow account? Half a million. Half a million. It doesn't matter how much is the amount. Doesn't matter whatever the amount is. Wow. Fine if I update an owner information on CA, which the, cont which the contact number is not correct, 50,000 plus seize from brokerage activity plus a case will be filed at general prosecution. Updating owner information on CA Guys, don't worry about the screen. The PDF is in the shared folder. Updating the owner information on CA incorrectly, 50,000 fine, seized from brokerage, and general prosecution case. OK, developer, I have signed, a, I bought an off plan. Property is being handed over. Up to how much the size can be different with what was agreed on my SPA army? Marginal area difference allowed is 5% means if I have bought as per my SPA Okay, so the marginal area difference is 5% I have signed an SPA for 1,000 square feet The developer should give me at least 950 square This is another question in the exam Who will benefit the least incentive in a development in a master development? Contractor Consultant, developer, client, local authority. Who will get what? The least, who will benefit the least incentive in a master development or in a development? Consultant, contractor, client, investor, or local authority? Local authority. This is the answer in exam. There are zoning regulations on each and every plot of land. The zoning regulation, memorize this, includes density of population, height, and use of the building only. Does the zoning regulation include the style of the facade? No. Does it include the style of the architecture? No. Does it include the number of units? No. The zoning regulation, zoning regulation tells you that in this building you can build this much height and it should be residential or commercial or mixed use or hotel or hotel apartment. The developer after signing an SPA with a client has two months to register the Ugud. So who is liable to register Ugud? Client, 
developer, broker, developer. Who will pay for it? Client. Owners association. When does the owners association uh, get formed? Two months. After no, uh, two. Uh, option A. Option A after handover. Option B after the complete sell out of the project. Option C after the registration of the first ownership. Option four depends. C. 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 Four. Really? After the registration of the first ownership. Owners association comes into existence upon the first registration of a unit ownership. What does the bubble mean in the exam? The bubble means the price increase is not related to the development fundamentals. Is not related. Means the price has increased more than what it should compared to the developments uh, fundamentals. Guys, there is one more question in the exam which says at the time of inflation, what happens to the property price and to the interest rate? Property price increases and the interest rate decreases or property price and interest rate both rise or both fall? What is the answer? Both rise. Inflation. Infl what is your equity? When you are calculating return on your equity and on a mortgage property, you look at the va market value, the value of your property minus the unpaid amount or the balance or liability or the mortgage balance. Kabul? Equity equals to market value minus mortgage balance. What is mortgage balance? Unpaid principal. Does mortgage balance include interest rate? No. no. It's only the unpaid principal. Acquisition means acquire, means purchase, means buying. Loan with a higher cost and interest rate is more quickly. So there is a question in the exam which says which type of loan is more quickly and it has less down payment, a loan with a higher cost. When you are paying higher cost and you are paying more interest, uh, you will get it more quickly and you will pay less down payment. Marketing mix has different forms. So when you go to uh, sales and marketing, when you want to pass a sales and marketing course, in some courses you will get four Ps, some cases, some marketing strategies will give you five Ps, there are even seven Ps, but what matters in the exam is the four Ps one. So in the four P, sorry, five P. In the yeah, this is my typing mistake. In the exam, there are four P, five P, and seven P. But in the exam, five P. Remember, this should be five. In the exam, five P. So the five P are product, price, place, promotion, people. Product is product. Everything about your product. Place means where you're selling your property online or a shop or retail or whatever. Promotion is how you advertise it, what are the offers around it, and people is your target market. Target audience, target market. Product, price, place, promotion, people. These are the five P's you should memorize. If I have a complaint against a developer, should I visit Dubai Land Department? Should I go to Dubai Police? Or should I register my complaint on the RVS? Register your complaint on the RVS, which is the real estate violation system. Where do I find the RVS? On the website and the virus. Kabul? Same with the real estate office, same with the real estate uh, management company. So if you have a complaint against a developer or a real estate office or a real estate management company, log in to go, go to the DLD website or the virus and uh, go to the real estate violation system, RVS. Kabul, cancelled projects. I want to file a case for a cancelled project. I have to go to Dubai Land Department or court or International Arbitration Center. DIFC. DIFC. So if, if I want to file a case for a cancelled project, I can either go to DLD or to the court or to Arbitration Center. What is the main language of arbitration center? Arabic. English. Everything related to DIFC, main language is English. Arbitration. English.
I want to modify a name. There is a misspelling of on my name in the title deed. Property trustee or registration trustee? Wherever, guys, wherever you can get Ijari, that place is called property trustee. Remember like this. Wherever you can transfer a property, it's called registration trustee. Can, I, can you have both in one place? Yes. yes. Some places are offering you both. Some places are offering you title deed transfer and Ijari registration. So this is property transfer, property trustee, and this is registration right. trustee. Not change name. Modify your name on the title deed. Spelling. It's not a transfer. There are two types of trustee offices. There are two types of trustee offices. Registration trustee office, property trustee office. Okay. Some, are, some, some of them are offering both in one place. Okay. Pass modify name, not change of ownership. Change of ownership is what? Registration trustee. Okay. Less than 10 years con tenancy contract registration is? Property trustee. More than 10 years tenancy contract registration is? Registration trustee. And the cost is? 4%. Okay, modify name, property trustee. Technical support at DLD, visit DLD, go there, uh, go to the trustee office? No. Support at dubailand.gov.au. Technical supports at DLD, you should email support at dubailand. This is the right answer. There is a misspelling in your RERA card. Or you want to you want to get your old RERA card, RERA number. You have an old RERA number from your previous company, you want to get that. Or there is a, anything related to IT. The number which I have was registered, was blocked under my name for years. But in between, I was using other RERA numbers. After opening Homeland, I wanted to get the first one, which was from 2007. So I sent an email to support at Dubai Land. I want to request for my old RERA number. This is the passport and the visa and the RERA card which was valid at that time. So this shows that this passport, which was expired 15 years ago, is the same person. And these are my updated documents now. My passport, my visa, my Emirates ID, my existing era. I want to request for the old number and then next day I got it. Just remember the words. Legal notice for the service charge, more like. Okay, I have a unit. I had a unit which got terminated. Okay, the unit got terminated. I had paid 60% while the developer had to take, uh, retain 40% only. I want to get the balance. Where should I get the balance? On Dubai Rift, I should find. Because, see, I had paid 50% while I had to pay 100%. And they sent me notices I didn't pay, so it was considered as a buyer's default. So they got, uh, they terminated my unit from Dubai Land Department. Now I want to return, I want the balance to be returned to me. Where should I claim for a request for the dues? I paid 50%. 40% should have been deducted, yeah. so I am eligible to get back 10%. Requests due to termination of a unit. I had a unit which got terminated due to buyer's default. The balance, dues, I want to request. Where can I request it? On individual residential property owner to update mobile number to access the digital services. I want to update my mobile number in the system on my Emirates ID to be able to use all digital services. Where can I update my mobile number on my Emirates ID? Authority for Identity and Citizenship. This is the right answer. Update the mobile number for using the digital service. Okay, where can you inquire about the status of a property? Where can you check the service charges of a property? Where can you church, check the average rentals, outstanding diva, and municipality fees? Either on DLD website or on Dubai Rest in a section called property status inquiry. In the property status inquiry, what do you get? Service charges, rent value, Diva bills, unpaid municipality fees if there are any, and the uh, outstanding deal. Can I advertise a property in Dubai, in the UK, without having an advertising permit? No, you need permission. You need to have permission. So you cannot advertise without permission anywhere. There is an owner who owns a 10,000, the question is, there is an owner who owns a 10,000 square meter land. Next to this land, there is another land of 8,000 square meter. 
in Tarakhisi zoning. The client, the owner of this land, is asking me as an agent to check with the owner of the adjacent land, to check with the owner of the next land, which is 8,000 square meter, if he can use this land to do his development. OK. How can I approach the owner of this land? Dubai Municipality, Dubai Land Department, Master Developer, or Emirates ID? Emirates ID. The answer is Dubai Municipality. Off-plan property is sold to someone else, to a third party, OK? There was a resale in off-plan. How does the developer come to know? Number one, the developer knows because you applied for an OC. Number two, the broker should notify the developer. Number three, the developer automatically gets notified in the system. The right answer is system automatically sends details to the developer. OK, typically within the same project, what, which property has a higher value, ready or off plan? I am selling a villa in Jubeira. Buyer is GCC, seller is GCC. Where should I apply for transfer NOC? Non-freehold areas do not need NOC and do not get NOC. Non-freehold properties or NFH don't need transfer NOC. Why in some units? You do not need to apply for an NOC before going for the transfer. The reason is the uh, service charges are already updated in the Mullek system, and Mullek system is connected to the CF and Dubai REST. So if in those buildings, if there is any unpaid service charges, if there is any unpaid installments, or if there is any dispute registered at the owner's association or registered at the developer, it's already, it already shows in the Wildland Department system. So that's why you don't really need to go and apply for an LLC. OK, golden visa, 2 million. How much paid? 2 million. Off plan already? Both. 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 Uh, what is STR? A serial unique number for every transaction. Is it mandatory? No. Where do you apply for golden visa? Cube, Cube in Dubai Land Department. Who will apply? Developer, client, broker? Client. So, property value is 7 million. I have paid 2.5 million. Can I apply golden visa? Normal visa, two years visa, property value 750. How much paid? 750. You are having a power of attorney to change your mobile number and email address of an owner. Your power of attorney is in English only. Can you do that? No. The POA must include Arabic. What if it's in two languages, Arabic and English? It's okay. If there is a dispute between Arabic and English, which one is applied? Definition of the deed is a legal document that aims to transfer ownership. Definition of title, it's a legally recognized evidence of a person's right to possess a property. Legal document transfer, legal documents to transfer is deed. Legally recognized evidence to possess is title. Yeah. Title is to possess a property. Deed is a legal document that aims to transfer the ownership. I, I have, sorry, sorry to say something. Bank liability letter. I'm selling a property that has a mortgage. The bank liability letter should be addressed to the seller, the buyer, the developer, Dubai Land Department. Dubai Land, Dubai Land Department. I have an, OK, but who remembers sole contracts? Back in the days, we had three types of contracts, sole, exclusive and non-exclusive. What was the difference between sole and exclusive? The sole and the exclusive, the difference was that in the sole, if the seller sold himself, agent wouldn't be uh, eligible for commission. In the exclusivity, so now sole is not there anymore. You have sole and exclusive. In the exclusivity, you have an exclusive contract with the client for three months. During this three months, the client himself, the seller himself, sells the property to someone else. Is the agent eligible for commission? Yes. If a contract F is expired, can the agent, okay, I am an, I'm a real estate broker. I know that there was a CA and a CF on a property. Okay, and I, which is expired already. Okay, the contract F and contract the contract F is expired already. Now, I'm having an 
a better offer from another buyer. The previous CF is expired, but the transfer did not happen. I'm having a buyer with a higher offer. Can I generate a new CA and CF? Yes. If CF is expired, okay. When can you apply, when can you uh, file a dispute on a CF? While it is valid or after expiry? After expiry. Depends. A broker, a broker can file, we're talking about the exam. A broker after expiry. While the CF is expired, next minute or next day, you can file a dispute. How do you, how do you, claim, how do you put a dispute on a CF? Dubai Rest. On the same Dubai Rest app, you log in as an agent, you good. Same, you file a dispute after the expiry. Once the CF is finished, expired, you file a dispute, you write descriptions, you contact Rera, Dubai Land Department will call him. They will try to mutually reach you guys to an agreement, get a discount from you, let him pay more or less, give you a post-dated check. They will try to friendly close the case. If not, they will put some comments, you have to go to the court. Mohammed is a seller, this Mohammed is a seller. He has an exclusive contract with Asal. In the last question, I said that even if he sells it on himself, by himself, the agent will be eligible for commission. Okay, Mohammed is saying, if the contract is exclusive, how come he can, he can generate a CF? What's the answer? Who said, who said that, to, that to sell his property he needs a CA? He goes straight to the trustee office. CA is needed only when there is an agent involved. I'm talking about direct sell. In direct sell, CA is needed only when there is an agent involved. He wants to sell it to his cousin. Can he not go to the Trump registration trustee, give their Emirates ID and sell the property? Who can stop you? But then that agent will file a case against him saying that I had an exclusive contract and claim for your commission. Okay, what is the minimum commission in CA? Zero, zero. What is the maximum? 20%. The, so, the, but the norm, which is recommended, the norm is 1% from the seller, 1% from the buyer. Is there a limit on that? No. There are no fees for, okay, is there a fees for making CACFCB? There are no fees. There are many questions like this. What are the fees? Who will pay the fees? What are the fees of CACBCF? It's a tricky one. The fee of the contract is zero. What is your commission? That's the second thing. That's so a separate issue. issue. Minimum duration of CA is? One day. One day. Default duration of CA? Minimum duration for the validity of contract A is? One, one day. Default is? Two months. Two months. Two months. Maximum is? Okay, when I can have a CA with a maximum validity of one year, what can be the maximum validity of CF? One year. When your CA is valid for one year, how do you, where do you generate the CF from? From CA. Okay, to generate a CF, do you need a CB? To generate a CF, oh, sorry, to generate a contract F, which is a sales and purchase contract, you do not need a CB. You have a CA, you go to your CA, from your CA, you generate a CF, which is sales and purchase contract, and in between, it'll ask you, do you have a CB number? If yes, put the number here. If not, fill up the buyer's information. So there is a question. Do you need a CB to generate a CF? No. In case of dispute between the buyer and the seller in a sales and purchase contract, first we call both parties, try to reach to a mutual agreement. If uh, a resolution is not found, you go to DLD and followed by Dubai courts, even if it's in, if in the DLD also they cannot find the resolution. Okay, can you create a CF without having a CB? Yes, from CA. Question, tricky one. When you are generating, you as a broker, generate a contract F, does it have to be approved by Tarakhisi admin before sending the links to the buyer and the seller? Sometimes. You're generating a CF, sometimes the contract F. Sometimes CF must be approved by Tarakhisi admin before the link goes to the buyer and the seller. The answer is sometimes. If the sale doesn't include a broker, then you can do the deal without having a CA or CB. The buyer and seller go to a registration trustee office and they can.
without having a CA or C. What is the purpose of small, smart contract? This is another question. The purpose of a smart contract is reference for guidance in contract disputes. Old owner, who is liable for the unpaid service charges before the transfer? Or oh, the old owner. The other answers, the other options are property management company, buyer, the old owner, or the developer. Okay, for a property transfer, I want to do a property transfer. I am a resident. Is my Emirates ID copy enough at the trustee office? No. You have to have the original Emirates ID. I have a mortgage. I uh, settled the mortgage. Okay, who is liable for the early settlement fees? Seller, buyer. Seller, buyer, agreed otherwise between the buyer and the seller. Agreed otherwise. By default? Seller. seller early settlement fees mortgage mortgage early settlement oh, okay. fees for the mortgage early settlement fees by default the seller is liable okay now uh, I settle the mortgage when I settle the mortgage a new title deed comes option a if it's a Sharia compliant mortgage the title deed will be the new title deed will be issued with the same old title deed number. Option B, if it's a non-Sharia compliant, the new title deed will be with the same number. Option C, the new title deed will have a new number. Option C, Option C when a mortgage is released, the new title deed comes with a new title deed number. Where can I upload the documents related to the property? On a section called document vault. Payment for property price, can it be in cash? No. no. Payment for property price, up to 1 million is allowed in cash, up to 500,000 is allowed in cash, cash is not allowed, it has to be manager check. It has to be cash is not allowed, it has to be completely through manager check. Thank you very much. Salam alaikum.